Yeah. So just uh, before starting this session, just I want to introduce myself. So myself, Raj Shekhar, I have 12 plus years of experience in IT. So this is a development as well as the trainings. So coming into the, our uh, today's session. So this session related to Android. So maybe uh, you people are joined here around the 10 people. So you know about this word Android, right? So anyone have any inputs on this? What is Android? What you know about Android? Anyone? Just you can unmute and uh, if you have any answer, can someone? Yeah, I think someone has uh, sent in a chat. So it's a mobile OS operating system. Okay. So just I'll write the your words. With, I agree with your words. Mobile OS. So it's the same operating system. Someone said this operating system. It is correct. <clears throat> So operating system, then someone said that uh, developed by Google and JetBrains, okay. So you copy this word. So it has many versions, okay. It has many versions built on Java, okay. Okay. so. I got good inputs from the team. <clears throat> so, why I'm collecting this information from you? Because nowadays, it's not a new word. Why? Because almost 80% of the people are using Android devices. Because everyone who is having now a smartphone, Either it could be Android or iPhone. But iPhone, now it is clear? Okay. I hope uh, now it is clear. So this is fine. So here, this is a first time coming into this Android world. So Android is an operating system. First word is it's an operating system. And the next is the open source. Open source. Next, it is development environment. Simply with words, general with general words, I'm giving you the definition of the Android so that uh, easily you can remember the definition of android so android is an operating system it is a open source using this we can build applications initially applications are for mobile but right now applications are for mobiles tablets watch cars lot of lot of equipments are coming nowadays so as day by day it is going on lot of electronic gadgets are coming with android operating system so next word i want to write one more thing linux kernel so it is run on top of the Linux kernel. So what is that each word in definition? Just you first you remember the only four words, but each word I will give elaboration of each word. So Android is an operating system. Using this, we can build applications. It's open source. Always 
it is running on the top of the Linux kernel. Means in each phone, is there any Linux? Means no. It is internally or the, opera, the architecture of the Android as built on the top of the Linux kernel. Linux kernel is the similar part of Linux, which like, uh, see, my right now my laptop is running with the Windows operating system. Like uh, someone has the Mac, Mac, uh, it's a uh, operating system is a Mac OS. And someone has using Linux. Like that kind of operating system, it's a top of the same similar architecture it has built. So when we are discussing about a architecture of Android, there we will discuss in detail of Linux kernel, how it's built on top of the Linux kernel. So that we will see this. So then uh, next thing here. So simply here we got a uh, idea. Android is an operating system. It is uh, using this. We can build mobile apps that suitable for mobiles, tablets, then uh, watch, cars, autos, lot of electronic gadgets. It's running on the top of the Linux. But who is the owner for this? So right now this is acquired by google but there are some other people in the background so that we will see in a, our coming session because we need to understand the android history on the history we can go in detail means from where this has started and how this acquired by Google, like those kind of details we'll discuss there on the, this. So next here. So I uh, have one question to everyone here. So why you want to learn this course? Any specific reason for anyone? Why you came for this course? Anyone? Okay. Job. Love building up. Next, any other answers from anyone? So Kotlin is a new language to explore it. Okay. Next, any other answers from anyone? For the first one, who has here said, someone said the job. So, job. So, if I learn Java, can I get the job or not? So, obviously, yes. If I learn Java or if I learn Python, if I learn .NET, any, any technology, if you learn, because every technology has opportunities in a market. But why you want to go with this? So there are few specific reasons for this. So means apart from this, see, first one, I agree with your answer, mm -hmm. that is a job. So someone said that so Kotlin is a new language. So we need to explore it. That is That also, I agree with you. Because it's a new language, so we need to learn uh, new things on this. That also I agree. But here, so if I, I, I already learned uh, Java, then I'm working on Java. So only I can work on that Java. But here what, I, what I'll do, in case if I learn Android, 
so either it could be uh, with the java or kotlin so what what is the differences between those uh, will come uh, after few minutes but if you learn this android so there is another uh, opportunity you can build your own applications like uh, if you go in a play store you have lot of things so that uh, duration part and all i'll uh, come with after few minutes i'll come with that point so here if you can uh, learn this you can build your own applications and you can publish those applications in a play store so if i publish applications in a play store what are the benefits for us what are the benefits for us is there any benefits if i po if i publish apps in a play store obviously yes but what are the advantages so one advantage is you can improve your skills on a coding style one is that improve the skills only improve the skills is enough no apart from this the next is money exactly so how that money will come how that money will come i i have already uh, published five applications then there there is a adsense so this adsense word we used in web but here in android terminology we'll say that is ad mode so google has giving an opportunity to post ads on your application but instead of mobile application can i build my website like i want to uh, create a one simple tutorial simple tutorial like uh, uh, i know android i know java i know python then i want to give those all tutorials in my application so instead of mobile app can i give in a web application yes obviously you can give but which one is best which one is best i opt for the mobile app why because in a mobile app case with zero users you can allow the ads with even though today you published a new application and that also you can use uh, means you can enable the ads but in web application cannot why because in a web application there are a certain rules if you have this much of traffic to your website and content should be unique some some conditions rules are there from the google once you all are satisfied then only that should be ads will come on your website until you not satisfy those conditions never those ads will display so but in mobile app with zero users you can start this so if i started with zero users how much i can earn for the month what is my income for the month suppose i started my as uh, app with zero user just today i uploaded the app but how much i can earn from this suppose in a month i got 500 users so these 500 users every day for 30 days 30 days everyone are using 15 to 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes my application means 
average i can take 15 so 15 into 30 it is a around 450 minutes means 7 8 hours so 7 8 hours they spend my uh, they spend time on my application so on that if they spent that much of time how much i can earn means i can earn minimum 5 to 10 dollars 5 to 10 dollars in the sense what is this right now it's a dollar is around 80 rupees 82 rupees 10 dollars means it is a 800 rupees i i came with very minimal means all uh, minimal figures only why because maybe you can earn more than that also so that depends on the area like users all are the users are from india sometimes all are the users from usa all are from the uk depends on currency depends on place where the users are logged in in your application that dollar and uh, value will increase or decrease is the this so and uh, depends that uh, someone said that depends on uh, downloadings yeah that downloadings just uh, just i consider here downloadings are 500 right so that with that worst i am going with this maybe instead of 500 maybe you your tutorials and everything whatever the content you given on your app that is very good then instead of 500 it goes 10 it had 10 one more zero means it's 5000 obviously this 800 will goes to 8000 right maybe 8000 are more than that also so that possibilities is there depends on your content until you give the good content so that application should be user friendly what is user friendly means see uh, i cannot go and i cannot guide who install my application right so once they open the application they need to understand my flow of application easily easy flow easy to understand so if you follow such kind of uh, apart from that along with the easy flow and it's a lightweight lightweight application and uh, good user interface ui ux it's a good user interface and uh, under good understanding lightweight and the most important thing is the secure it should be the secure if your application has everything as good but sometimes some of the applications we will see once i open the application it is asking that allow contacts permission allow messages permission allow those permission that permission lot of permissions they will ask for tutorial point tutorial uh, means for tutorial i am giving the tutorial for the tutorial i no need to take any other permissions because just whatever the content i have just i am displaying on the app that's it i am not expecting any input from the user side so no need to ask any permissions kind of thing means it should be the secure first then only we can get that so that is a one extra opportunity here this is the own applications from there you can earn apart from this here in a android we will get like uh, more freelancer works why because say i ha- i have i have some thoughts to small small applications i am planning small small applications basically let us consider i am not a developer but i i have some small small thoughts to uh, place my applications if like i can go and can approach my one company so i can approach one company they said that the huge amount whatever amount it is maybe uh, suppose uh, they said uh, 10 pages of up, uh, mobile app small mobile application that's a company said that it's around 50k to 1 lakh 1 lakh the, their budget same thing if i go with the freelancer they can do that with a 10 to 20000 or 30000 like that so because of that uh, we need we need here uh, with the people uh, can get more opportunities on a freelancer basis also so these two 
is not possible with the some other technologies because for example i say uh, i am the dotnet developer or i am the java developer what is the applications which are building on uh, those technologies it's a major major applications it's a big applications so in those big applications a split and share that kind of uh, mechanism could not be possible in all the cases because of that we will get the less opportunities on those but here it's a small small applications and the more people having that so because of that is the reason here we can get the more opportunities here this is a freelancer part so this is about just uh, want to uh, explain the benefits from the android so the next coming into this next one is so this is fine okay this is fine but uh, some example before going to the next topic i want to show some examples on this so just i want to open the play store once so what i said you people on track that so that's why i want to show some apps in a play store so everyone knows about the apps also sorry play store apps excuse <clears throat> yeah play store here <clears throat> so just i want to search only an apps so here i am searching with the frank what is the meaning of frank frank means it's a normal so here frank call so the sail open one application here see x call global phone call app this is the frank application so here see how many downloads are there for this application just to know where is see 10 millions of downloads for this application so what is in this application in this application is nothing if you are having one year of experience on basic android application developer you can do this app in a one week one week of effort means in that just it's a alarm functionality how what the alarm we are using on our phone that alarm functionality is this so using that alarm functionality only this app has built on this so it's a very simple uh, nothing is there in this so easily we can uh, use this application this kind of application so with this application they can put this means i i set alarm at 6 am so with the some mobile number i add instead of normal alarm just i add my mobile number and one photo it should come like instead of alarm it should come as a call kind of thing that is application like this so this kind of lot of lot of applications like uh, i'll show you one silly example mm, like uh, bp frank bp frank yeah see by touching the finger how you justify how much blood pressure you have this is impossible just it is a it is also some kind of that uh, who knows random function in java they can write this program in two days so like those kind of see for this also it's a 50 million downloads are there in this app so some small small applications we can generate huge revenues so that just i want to convey that message of this uh, how this will come and how this incomes will come on this okay next i am coming into our uh, next actual this topic here so now okay this is fine with android we know this android and all now i want to go with this so for android if you want to learn android what are the things you need here there are major a uh, few things so initially android has to develop with only the java but right now 
So we can build this on Kotlin also. So for the Java, we are used Core Java. We'll use Core Java, but this Kotlin is completely new word to everyone. Uh, maybe here someone knows about this Kotlin word. So this Kotlin is a uh, other language. So using this Kotlin also, we can build apps. This session, what we are doing, this is with the Kotlin. Android development with Kotlin. So uh, maybe you have a few questions. I don't know ABC in Kotlin. No worry. I'm here to teach you those. So here we will start from the basic of Kotlin. Then we'll start. It means initially for this Android development, here we need to first know about the XML language. So this is a very basic language like uh, HTML. It's a also markup language. So what is the meaning of markup language? Which language we use to design? like HTML, I used to design that HTML. So that we can say as a markup language, like here also it is the same XML, it's an extensible markup language. And this we used to design the our UI. Then for that UI, if you want to give on a functionality action, means like uh, by, by entering my name and uh, password, I want to log in into application that can be handled with this Kotlin. So initially it was with this, but right now this. So I'll completely, this Kotlin will start from the scratch. So while we are starting this, how while we are doing with the Kotlin, just initially I'll show uh, some for few few programs, not for the all programs. All programs will do with the Kotlin, but few programs I'll show with the Java, then I comes to compare with the Kotlin program. Means like today I done one example. That example, initial four or five programs, I start with Java, then I show that same program in Kotlin. So that you understand why we are going with the Kotlin. Because compared to the Java, here Kotlin is very simple and less lines of code. So it can reduce the time and it can reduce the efforts. So if it is obviously the code and the code is less, the performance should be high. So that kind of benefits are there that initially I show with the three or four programs with Java and Kotlin. Then after that, every program will go with the Kotlin. Like that, we will go this. So then next question. So how many days duration of this course? So this course is the 45 days. Approximately it is a 50 hours of course. 50 hours of course. So, okay, this 50 hours of course, in this 50 hours of course, what we are going to cover in this course? So for that, uh, I have uh, one document. So what is the latest version of Android? Android is the latest version is 12. So we'll discuss suitable, I mean, what is the, what are the things are going to cover in 12? Those features only we used to cover here this. So initially we'll start with the introduction of this and uh, what is the history, how this came, what are the features and how this has open source just now in a, uh, Definition, we discussed Android is open source and how that came as an open source and what is the drawbacks, features of each version. Each version wise, we'll discuss in detail of this. After that, we'll start with the architecture. So in the architecture, just now I told this Linux kernel word that we will discuss along with the pictures, diagrams, everything in detail. Then after that, uh, set up Android environment setup. And we'll start with the first program and first program structure. Then I'll give the complete 
overview of XML, how to start, what are the advantages, and what are the rules, how to write that we will see. After that, we'll start designing of the UI. So we'll start initially with the designing of UI. So after that UI, that how to run with the Kotlin. Here, after that, uh, using this design components, we can build the forms like uh, login form, registration form. So such kind of forms using these components like text view, button, checkbox, seek bar, rating bar, like using those components, we can do that kind of forms. After those forms, components, all components of Android. Here we have five components. If you are aware of these five components, you can build static Android application. What is the meaning of static? So if I comes to programmatic language, there are two types of applications. One is static, other one is a dynamic. Calculator, I can take calculator is a static because it's never changed. Two plus two, four. Two, two multiply with three, six. Like that, the standardized is a fixed. For that, no need to save any kind of data inside the application. So which, whichever the application has saving some data and it is performing based on that. Like I take example as Amazon, Flipkart. Today I open my Amazon app. They say that offers for laptops. Tomorrow offers for the shoes. Day after tomorrow offers for the mobiles. Like every day the content is changing. That is the, that is dynamic application, not a static application. So that kind of application we can discuss. But here, if you are aware of this, you can do static application. So after this, all the components in detail, then we'll go with the advanced user interface. Like I have uh, 12 members in a class. So that 12 members data, I want to do some kind of dynamic activity. So such kind of activity, like I want to, like our contacts, day, every day we are adding one contact, two contact, three contact, like that it is increasing day by day. So such kind of views, how we can handle that we will see. After that, how to record a video, audio, media player, such kind of. And after that, how we are making the calls, sending SMS, emails. This already there. Why we need to learn? Maybe someone will ask. Because see, if I open the Ola, everyone knows about the Ola application. Everyone knows about the Zomato, Swiggy. So when I order food, so if a rider is picking my food and his car is supposed to traveling to my location, maybe unfortunately he is uh, missing that location. Maybe that time uh, he used to call or I used to call. So such kind of functionalities, if you want to include that, so here is the solution for that. And after that, uh, you are connecting Wi-Fi or sharing hotspot. So such kind of activities, how we can do that, that also we can do here. And uh, when you receive the call, you are getting the sound, vibration, ringing. So such kind of this. Here we can discuss on the how to ring, how to vibrate, how to keep silent. Then after that, uh, Bluetooth. Nowadays, this Bluetooth is very, very important because I have one smartwatch. So I can connect that watch with the Bluetooth. And uh, I have AC. I can on that with the Bluetooth. I have some printer. I can take the print through my mobile application, mobile itself. So such kind of activities that IoT. So this we can say as IoT. So how to connect the IoT devices using our Android that we can discuss here detail. Then after that, uh, these are the like uh, uh, multiple pages. You want to design multiple pages in your application or you want to open camera or you want to open gallery, such kind of all activities we can do here. After that, uh, just I click on my application, my internet is slow, uh, that, uh, web, uh, that page is loading. So wait, please wait. Uh, like such kind of alerts, kind of activity, we will do here this. And after that, 
in each page, each page of application, how the life cycle is it is. Means first you want to develop application, you need to understand the life cycle of that. So how that life cycle should come, that we can understood here. Then after that, background services, like uh, your, uh, uh, just I click on download a movie, I am doing my activities, backgroundly that downloading is happening. So there's such kind of applications we can do here this. And the next is the broadcast receiver. This is announcements like battery low, a Wi-Fi available, Bluetooth available. So someone calling, uh, someone messaging. So such kind of broadcast announcement here we can do this. Next is the notifications. So these notifications are like WhatsApp notification, uh, normal message notification, so that we can do this. After that, this is very, very important who came this course for the job. Because using this, we can build dynamic applications. So just now I told the dynamic application. Dynamic application means which is communicating to the database. So database could be anywhere. So how the data will communicate and all that we will discuss in our detail. But using this web services, JSON, these are the concept of web services. So here we can discuss more detail on this, how this will happening in this. So this is also part of this. And the next is the fragments. So this is the reusability of the user interfaces. To reduce the burden on your application, we use this fragment concept to reusability of the user interfaces. So that we will see in detail. And after that, some of the applications, maybe we can uh, store data locally, like contacts. I'm saving the data in my local. I even you can take uh, Facebook also. So if I open uh, without net also, I can open the Facebook. I can do up to some kind of activity. So such kind of means that a Facebook is the offline as well as the online. It can source, so save some data locally as well as it can interact with the server. So such kind of small application, uh, that kind of application, we can do this. So then for this, there is the advanced libraries for this SQL database, local database that we can discuss. And this is a, again, this is a concept of web service related to web service. These two are the third party libraries, but now it is a trending in a market. So that we will discuss. And the next one, it is a material design. So what is material design? So now uh, my application is working perfectly without zero, without any bugs, but my user interface is not understanding by anyone. Then there is no use of your application. So to overcome that, Google has given as a material design concept to make attractive UI. So they saw they given some components, some these things. So those all we can discuss. It is a third party that is uh, provided by Google only. So Android is also provided by Google. So easily we can integrate those all features in our application that we can discuss here to make an attractive UI. Then next, this is very, very important. Firebase. So the Firebase is nothing but here. It's a, using this, we can build dynamic applications or any charting kind of application that you can build or like, uh, unfortunately, I'm using my application as crashed means it's a stop in between while using, but my application is in Play Store installed by thousand members who installed, I don't know. But with the person X application has crashed, then I need to understand how this is. So this tool will give the result because of this and so and so reason, this application has crashed. So that I can understand that reason and I can resolve that I can re-upload the application in Play Store. Then after that, Google Maps. So how to incorporate Google Maps in your application. Here we can discuss on that Google Places and all. So then finally, animations, how we can use the animations. 
the next add move how to put ads in a, your application and finally how to upload your application in play store and how to update how to regular update how these things will discuss in detail and some other features like how to maintain the code like uh, you in a company if you can go with the company how the company has maintaining the code and what are the things need to follow so such kind of details also i'll give you here in this course so this is overall summary of the course so just i'm summarizing the points so the course duration is 45 days it's around 50 hours of course every day it's a one hour session so in this will start with the android latest version of 12 so what are the latest concepts which are here each and everything we can discuss in detail along with the examples so key features of this course is so uh, my perspective so the theoretical concepts whatever the theoretical concepts i'll explain you after the theoretical concepts each and every program i can create in front of you i can write the coding on in front of you i won't execute the i mean sir, already the running programs i won't execute that kind of each and every program i write in front of you itself along with the explanation and for every batch what is the examples i'm discussing that may change because uh, like uh, um, button button example is here that will always fix so such kind of programs are same but along with that after that uh, some other program that program previous batch and this batch could be different because today i am teaching one topic like google maps and a google maps what is a suitable example for that i can teach on the go that program itself directly so like that because i am having the hands on experience on a coding that like that it will go the step by step there is no fixed programs i, I want to go with uh, only this fixed 50 programs 60 program not like that kind of mentality each and every topic with latest examples simply simply day, because day by day the code as updating uh, along with the updates i'll teach you each and every program along with the updates that is i'm covering and finally last uh, few sessions i'll give you the complete overview of the project means uh, if you want to start a project after getting the job if you want to start a project how to start the project and how to follow uh, other team members and how we can start how we can uh, incorporate things that kind of uh, full overview of the project also i'll give you this so if anyone have any questions on this Yeah, someone asked that. Uh, yeah, daily how many hours of this? I already answered. Every day it is a, a one hour session. Is there any need to core Java knowledge? If you have core Java knowledge, it's uh, well and good. If you don't have also, because we are starting with the coding, it's a good. So after completing this course, can I get, yeah, this course, this I want to highlight. So, Along with the every every class, along with every class, I'll give you few tasks. If you follow the task, definitely I cannot say exactly three plus, but in between of two to three plus or maybe four depends on your practice. You can get at least minimum you can get the two to three years of experience uh, kind of activity will get. If you practice whatever the programs I given as a practice. So network libraries like, yeah, I already told that, right? Retrofit here we have already seen. Wally, retrofit. So these also we'll discuss here. Yes. Yeah, it's a nine o'clock only. Can we crack interviews after this course? Yes, definitely. Is that uh, related a few interview questions? Uh, interview related question is like, uh, when we are discussing about the retrofit, then let us say topic of retrofit. So while discussing up retrofit, I'll explain you how that specific topic you can explain on your interview. So such way I'll explain you on that so that easily you can crack the interviews. So 
any questions classes will be on weekend also hello <clears throat> hello yes yes sir. Uh, i want to ask uh, uh, if some if as uh, i know java then no. uh, how uh, if i learn kotlin the, in this case uh, how um, java will help to learn kotlin actually yeah so there is a specifically i cannot say directly if you know java how to learn means it's a simply like a, it will it will uh, it will simple yeah, for yeah, me yeah. or yes yes I'll, I'll, just just i want to so if you know java or someone who know python someone know the php someone know dot net so you know the syntax right uh, this syntax should be like this uh, you are already aware of the some part of the code so easily you can understand the what is the syntax if you are writing this in a different te technology means here technology wise there is advantages if you know one basic language easily you can understand the other language syntax and all in that way it will help but both are different both are not same both are different but you can understand syntax syntax also different uh, syntax also means it's a reducing like uh, here uh, in java i am writing the four lines of like in a java basic core java mm -hmm. core java and advanced java like advanced java means spring net uh, springs you are writing yeah. some code springs oh here and there some like that is like yeah, java 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 8 knowledge complete like java 1.8 knowledge like lambda function and all the things yeah 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 then then okay then easily you can answer here like it is a framework kind of thing this is the kotlin is a framework kind of thing it is okay so that way you can easily understand that <clears throat> and one more thing yeah as in our course uh android material design just yeah. android material design is just like google Design Google give us some component, ready-made component, then we will use it. Uh, but uh, sometime in our project, we have to use customized component. Yeah. In this case, uh, uh, will you teach this? Ki how to create the uh, customized component? Yeah. So that customized components also we can discuss see here based on uh, the area where you struck that that we can see here uh, this uh, whatever basic things you are not so from there we can elaborate that so if you struck somewhere like uh, the yeah, just like just like if you are creating a spinner okay. uh, in this case if you want uh, uh, google yeah, uh, google gives us the one spinner or android give us the spinner but we don't want this type of spinner yes, yes we I need am. we need some spinner that are rounded and uh, this type that, of uh, that, or so, this yeah. type of yes yes that. for that uh, for that uh, you know, we are uh, we we are creating here custom custom components so custom component yes yeah, custom components we can uh, do uh, based on the requirement that we can do here so here also i'll cover a few custom components as well like here uh, already here Yes, and one more thing I want to ask. Uh, actually, nowadays React Native is very famous in case of uh, mobile development. Correct, correct. Then in this case, React Native, what is the difference actually? Uh, yes. Because React Native give us give us Android as well as uh, Apple uh, iOS development. But correct, Android correct. give us only uh, Android development. Yes. In this case, uh, yeah. yeah, this is my question. Yeah, I, I think you understand. Yeah. First, I'm repeating your question. So there is a, not only React Native, there is a lot of other cross platforms are there, like Flutter is there, React Native yes. is there. So a lot of is there. So, but why we are going with this means there is a simple answer. So in a real time, already we faced one issue. So there is a fitness tracker. Okay, fitness tracker, we uh, developed one app. Initially, it was in a React Native. Okay, so then on that, uh, uh, it has a lot of integrations. Uh, like uh, customer, as for the customer requirement, uh, they have asked to uh, integrate with the uh, Google, Apple Music, and uh, uh, Savan. Like a lot of libraries, third-party libraries, some IoT kind of thing. 
So in those cases, we faced a lot of issues. Again, finally, customer came back and is we want both apps in a native only because of when we if it is a basic application, there mm-hmm. is third party dependency. Mm-hmm. So you can go with the cross platforms, no problem. But if you have any third uh, cross platforms uh, dependency, must ensure you go with the native. Means I, my personal suggestion because we already faced that kind of issues with the customers. So because mm-hmm. um, I saw, I support I uh, means I suggest go with the native. So yeah. if customer won't have that much of funds because we want to build a two kind of applications, then you need to compromise few features. Mm-hmm. Like that. <clears throat> so any other questions from anyone? Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, hello. Yeah, common. Sir, I want to continue uh, for this uh, question like have you developed a native development? Uh, mm-hmm. As you explained, you mean to say lack of the libraries in the uh, hybrid development. That's why you want to go uh, with, the, with uh, this uh, native development. Am I right, sir? Yeah, uh, yeah. Lack of library means it is supporting, but not that much of fully supported. So what happens after one or two years that library be fully developed? Yeah, yeah. Then, sir? Means to say, uh, it can support majority. See, uh, if I'm a third party, okay, I'm a third party. Uh, this uh, means uh, uh, React Native and Flutter, these all are came uh, four or five years back. Okay. Initially, this yes, iOS, these all are from many years. So, okay. all already built their applications in different, different uh, aspects and different things. So, the easily it can uh, communicate and can uh, do that kind of uh, things in uh, different things. But some kind of like uh, just now I said, uh, iOS, majorly we won't face issues with the Android phone because it's uh, easily uh, compatible with the different. Majority of the cases you will face the issues in iOS version. When you are releasing an iOS version, we will face a lot of issues. Uh, Like uh, iOS related things, payment gateway and uh, uh, this music, um, third party musics. And uh, when we are connecting to IoT, such cases you will face the issues. You mean the performance issues, sir? Yeah, some some uh, performance what? issues and uh, some coding kind of issues also we can face. Okay, sir. So one more thing, sir. Will you call unit testing in this course? Sorry. Unit testing. Unit testing. Yeah. Unit, unit testing. Yeah, unit testing. It's a we can do this, but that's a completely the different. Uh, different platform here mobile development is a different platform unit testing is a different platform here we can do testing is yeah unit testing in app means there are again yeah yeah yeah, there are various cases are there like unit testing is uh, i can say manual unit testing automation unit testing so if you want to go with a manual there is no just uh, whatever the uh, user stories we have for the application so that user stories based on the user stories you can go manually screen by screen you can do the uh, give that uh, report that is a manual unit u- unit testing but if you want to go with uh, with coding unit testing using this uh, whatever the platform here we are using android studio there you can do yes, that is a different topic and different uh, means a different course kind of thing not is a android development course it is part of android development course yes. Sir, if, if, will you provide a guidance? Suppose I want to do unit testing, for example, SR equal is like method is there like for the uh, actual testing, uh, there also uh, design, uh, design testing also there. So, because so many companies ask for the unit testing also. That's why, sir, I'm asking. Hello? Yes, yes. Uh, just I missed your words because of power issues. Just I came back with uh, other data. So, yeah, that uh, if you want and support means that I can support and no problem. Just I will, yeah, I, start, okay. I will guide you on that area. Okay, so, so Jetpack library is there, Jetpack like Rx, uh, Java. Yeah, so that, uh, yeah, that that is all will, uh, is there, that completely the fully advanced level of that. So, here yes, uh, all people cannot understand that much of uh, standardized here. 
so when anyone already who have uh, basic knowledge or if you want to suggestion on that just you can ask here i'll give you the reference urls and uh, suggestions basic suggestions i'll give you here on that areas Okay, so only only our that would be one thing. So just to get extra knowledge, because yeah, if yeah. I study by myself, it will take more time. You are you have experience, so you can explain in uh, in very few minutes. Sir. That's the yes, yes, correct, correct. So no, no worry. That I'll guide you. <clears throat> okay, sir. Thank you, thank you. Sir. Thank you. So, any questions from anyone? Sir, I have one question. Like, if we miss the class, then is there any recorded video, or how can we cover the topic? If we yes, yes. Uh, recorded sessions should be available. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the fees of this course, sir? Yeah, uh, ten thousand. Ten thousand. Yeah. Is it negotiable, sir? Ten thousand is yes, sir, quite costly very, because ten thousand. It is very costly, sir. Ten thousand is very costly. Yeah, that uh, that is that uh, you can talk with the Durga Soft people. Uh, management. I mean, so who is the coordinator? Is there? I can talk with the coordinator. Mm -hmm. Take care of those things. So uh, my part is to here uh, just uh, one uh, teach uh, classes. Sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anything else? Okay, so I hope uh, everyone is clear. Uh, so we'll meet you tomorrow at 9 p.m. Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, hi, good evening. So I'm sharing my screen. So I hope uh, everyone are there in yesterday's class, right? Any new person? Okay, so so what uh, we discussed yesterday, just I want to summarize first. So first, yesterday we discussed about Android definition, then followed by how, why we need to learn this course. And after that, we discussed something about uh, syllabus, what we are going to cover in this syllabus. And what are the duration and all we covered yesterday. Now, I want to elaborate the words which we discussed yesterday in a definition. So what the, the definition of Android? Here we discussed a few things. One is open source. First word we discussed about this open source and operating system. Next is the development environment. So development environment. The next word is the Linux kernel. So with these four words, we discussed definition of Android. So here, first word, I coming to this open source. What is open source? Anyone? So you have any idea about an open source? I'm not asking about the Android. I'm asking the meaning of open source. Open source is nothing but uh, is, it is open to all and it is uh, free to all. Yes, exactly. So it's a freely available to this. So free software, yeah. So generally uh, open source, it's a freely available. Like see, for example, uh, if I'm, I'm developing in a .NET, so for the .NET, there are some restrictions. Up to certain stage, the .NET can be provided as open source. After that, 
if you want to go in a more uh, more tools and all it should be paid so it should be paid but here no payment for this means for android development if you want to do an android development no need to pay anything for the license license in the sense that is for the development environment so for the development environment no need to pay like for example if i installed windows in my laptop windows operating system so for that we need to pay if you won't pay what it says it's a after few days it says that uh, trial version has expired your license has expired so it says something like that and it cannot support all the features but here android is not like that so it can be completely the open source no need to pay anything for the setup to develop an android application so then if any software which is open source major benefit is we can get the we can get majority of the source code so we can get the source code is free of cost so we can get easily source code from the source code also we can do some elaborations here this so that is the first one here we will get the some part of the source code also the free so that we can do so without paying anything we can get some part of code and we can get the support for this so this android is having the huge community so in this community easily we can get the support as well as the code example lot of examples code that all are available this so that is coming into the point of open source next i am coming into operating system so what is operating system anyone operating system what is operating system so operating system is nothing but it's a simple words i'm explaining in a generalized words it's a bridge between bridge between software and hardware software and hardware so what is that software and hardware see if i took my mobile if i took my laptop so yeah if i took my mobile so in case of that mobile i have camera in my application that is a hardware but if i want to capture an image for that i need some software support so what is the support i am getting from the software to hardware in between something is needed that we can say as a operating system so it's a someone said here interface exactly if you are means first time saying here it's a generalized word it is a bridge between software and hardware if you want to talk in our it terminology that is an interface maybe why i said bridge initially means maybe someone could not understand the word of interface so the interface is nothing but it's a interface a means a bridge interface is nothing but here bridge so it will between the bridge so it can be support for this so as already we discussed this operating system is for nowadays lot of electronic gadgets like mobiles tabs tvs cars auto watch etc so many is there so many gadgets are coming nowadays etc so many devices are coming so this android operating system we can install means uh, we can use this we can install lot of applications so that is a uh, easily we can get this lot of devices so then next is the development environment so what is development environment so using this we can build applications we can build apps so what kind of apps we can build here already yesterday i told this static and dynamic both kind of applications we can build so and what is static 
static means it's a fixed inputs that could not be changed later but dynamic means every day the data is updating from the database it is interacting with the database so using this android we can build two types of environments one so two types of applications one is the static other is the dynamic so both applications we can build using this then next linux kernel so this i already told it's a part of the architecture so always the android is run on the top of the linux kernel top of the linux so how this top of the linux kernel just uh, i'll show you some picture here so here if this is my application inside what is inside is there the this is my application this is my app so here between this what is the space so someone said we will start yes we can uh, we will do that both cases here front end as well as the back end <clears throat> so here this is what is the space between these two circles is nothing but here linux kernel so this is the uh, this space what is the space between this this is the linux kernel so linux kernel so this linux kernel always means first as a user so this is a user i am sending one request as a user what i am saying now i am saying that open contacts application or open camera open gallery some request i am sending from my phone so it is traveling through this linux kernel then after interaction with that particular app again the response is coming back to the user through same layer that is a linux kernel because of that is a reason what i am saying now always it is interacted with the user with respective of linux kernel so this is the request and this is the response so because of that i am saying this android apps always running on the top of the linux kernel so that is that is a reason it's inbuilt of the architecture of that so it is on the always run on the top of the linux kernel so this is about the linux kernel so then this is about the four words which we discussed yesterday one is an open source operating system development environment and the next is the linux kernel so after this just we will see the history of this so what is the history and how this has started so every programmatic language has some history like here android is also have some history so who invented this android anyone anyone knows that who invented this android so nowadays if i ask who is the owner of the android everyone says that it's a majority of the people says that google but actual invention as done by andre rubin so who is this andre rubin so andre rubin is the person he is the he is the person actually he is a java developer so in 2003 he was a java developer so when he was an a java developer some day one day he went to shop to buy one camera he want to buy one camera then there he see he compared and then he compared there he compared one thing that is a camera normal camera and one is the digital camera one is the digital camera so he compared both like a normal camera has very less price 
digital camera has very high price. Then he asked uh, the shop owner, so why this much of this? So he says that uh, he compared the features. So this has zoom in feature, zoom out feature, and you will get clarity here. And here it is a kind of some, what are the differences between this normal camera and digital camera? He explained all the things. Then finally, he understood one point. Only the major difference between these two is, major difference is software. He understood that. So the digital camera has some software. Normal camera does not have the that much of it. It is also have some software, but it is not have that much of intellectual software. So it has one intellectual software because of that is the reason this camera has the more cost. Then he thought that so why can't we implement? Why can't we implement one application for the digital cameras? So then he started a company and company name called Android IMC. So he started that company. So that company, nothing but it cannot be possible with a single person. So along with him is a friend's three members also joined. So then they started R&D. What is R&D? So all our Java developers, R&D, research and development. They are researching the things. So their intention was to develop a digital camera software. They started with the, to start a development of one software, which is suitable to the digital camera. Then this is the year of 2003. From the 2003 to 2005, okay, they got one solution. They got one solution. In the span of two years, they got one solution. So what is that solution? Just they had this basic uh, camera application. They got simply, okay, they got some architecture kind of thing. Okay, this is the possibilities are there. Okay, this, they have the basic. After the basic, they got a lot of inputs and they say that, okay, this uh, we can go with a lot of things and all. So just one thing I want to cover here. Just uh, if you are any other, uh, if you have questions kind of thing, I'll give you the, uh, last five minutes to ask those questions. So like uh, any course related things, I'll answer your questions last last few minutes. Okay. So now they got the solution and they are working on that. Uh, in 2005, they, got, they released a basic version of that. After that, they want to enhance, they want to enhance the software and they still, they are uh, doing an R&D. And what happens? They struck it with the funds. Struck it with the funds. They got the solution. Okay. Means so they know if you go in this way, definitely we get the solution. But they struck somewhere with the funds because these people initially they are they are already working somewhere. But in a 2003, they have started the organization. And uh, there is no extra income. So they, because whatever the amounts they have, already they invested on a, this company from last two years. So they struggled with the funds. They have solution. But if you want to implement that solution, it need a lot of funds. So from the 2005 to 2007, they approached a lot of companies, a lot of something, some companies and all. So in a 2007, they released one static, static version of software for camera, software version for camera. So then they, they documented all their thoughts in a clear picture 
in one document and they approached a lot of companies like Nokia, uh, Sony Ericsson, who is the, on those days, who are the mobile providers. They approached a lot of companies. Finally, the Google has accepted there. And in 2007, this is acquired by Google. Means they has released some funds to do the R&D things for the features perfect queue. But what is their goal, that feature? So they thought that why can't this R&D to stop for the cameras? Why can't we implement this for the mobiles? That is their intention. Because on those days, every mobile which has, it's a very basic mobile. So we know that uh, basic mobiles, what are the features as given by the manufacturers? We are using only those, but they want to update that like our laptops, because in my laptop, if I want to install some software, I can install that software, but such kind of facility is not there in a mobile. So they ask to build such kind of application in this mix. They want to build one operating system based on this Android. So operating system and development environment to build the apps to run on the specific environment. That is their feature goal from the 2007 to 2009. In the span of these two to three years, they want to reach this goal. They want to reach this goal. Then Google has, Google has acquired and they invested on something on this. Then second level of R&D has started on this. Second level of R&D is started on the this specific area. So finally, in a 2008, 2008, the first version of Android as released in a mobile. So first version of Android mobile as released in a market with the company of Sony. So with this company of Sony, they released in the first version of Android mobile in 2008. But this is not a full stable version. So that days in 2008 days were the mobile other mobile uh, softwares are available is uh, symbian symbian java dot net so like these kind of other applications which are already they are providing like that means java in java jtm is there in dot net there is a mobile version symbian is one other is the farm like there are various uh, other softwares, other which are there. So this, every other manufacturers are not showing interest means like Nokia is there, Sony is there, Motorola is there, uh, lot of mobile manufacturers are there, but no one is not showing interest to jump into this Android version because this is also similar how this mobiles having this uh, Symbian, Java, JTME, Palm, Palm, this kind of same application this is. Here also in 2008, what is the version first released in the market? With that also, the people cannot install any other new application apart from the manufacturer as given. So then why we can go with the stable to new application even though we can also think that any new product will come in a market until it's a good uh, until we get the good comments and all we cannot go and buy the such kind of products so like that the every uh, manufacturer are thinking that then after that in a 2009 they succeeded as 2009 they succeeded as a operating system. So they released operating system in a market. Still, even though 
they say that Android is now operating system. You can install apps in operating system, but still no people as not showing an interest on this version. Why? Because operating system is available, but there is no apps available in a market to install on this operating system. So then what they did? They developed on a development environment. So this already they targeted in a development environment. They targeted in 2007 itself. This is development environment. So they developed the, this environment by end of 2009. Means almost we can say it's a December. So I consider it as a 2010. Once this development environment has released, so slowly one by one software companies also started developing the apps started developing the apps then one by one manufacturers are showing interest so some one by one 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 manufacturer as came and they started their devices on this and the next one like in a in the span of next 2010 to 14 or 15, four to five years of span, it became a huge in a market because every six months or one year, uh, these people are giving the major changes, major updates, which are the people not expecting that kind of features they are giving, they are releasing in a market. So because of those reasons, in a four to five years of the span, this has occupied the 70 to 80 percent of the market in worldwide. So, even if in case of uh, our country, right now it is 85 to 90 percent of mobiles are Android, remaining are the iOS. If you go with the worldwide statistics, it's a in between of the 60 to 70 percent of Android devices and the next 30 percent of the devices are iOS and other is there. So this is how this became in this. But in this gap, lot of versions are released. Those the current version is the Android 12. Then before that 11, 10, like it is from 0 to this all versions has came here. So the each version here has some name. So that name also here, see for each and every version, there is a name. So the name is very interesting here. So how, how it is interesting means see here, A, B, C. So A, B, these two are not a stable version. So they're not given any names on this here in a market. From C onwards means it's a following alphabets only. So you can we can see now each version it has having the name from the alphabet like it will start from the a b c d like that only so c is the anyone know that name c which started with the c android name that is cupcake so first one this is the cupcake next to d Donut E. So, what is that E? Eclair. So, e is the Eclair. Next, F is the Froyo. H, G, sorry, G. G is the gingerbread. H honeycomb, I ice cream sandwich, ice cream sandwich, J for jelly, jelly beans, K for Kit Kat, 